So my story began, began 38 years ago, well actually 39 years ago. I was a very young girl and I got pregnant, um, my first experience, and so I had a hard lesson to learn. So I um, had the baby and gave him for adoption and um, blocked all of those feelings. Um, as I've heard it said, repressed, suppressed, and depressed. So all those feelings were put away, carefully away. Um, in a little box. I don't know if I can tell this. So, I came to meet Sandra. Uh, by happen chance, I came with my sister who is a life coach, working to become a life coach, and she mentioned the rapid eye therapy, but I didn't know anything about it, really had never experienced it or knew anything about it. And she said, I'm going for a se session, so do you want to come with me? And I'm like, sure, why not, you know? I didn't think it had anything to do with me. So um, Sandra had me fill out a little form that is kind of an introduction, I guess, you know, uh, as to who you are. and. Um, so we went into the rapid eye therapy. Um, um, well, let me just backtrack for a second. On the, on the form, it asks about how many children you have. And something I never had done is to list my son as my child because I gave him away. He's not my child. So. So that's how I coped was to, you know, deny that it was in it was in that little box and tucked away carefully. So, um, for whatever reason, I believe God led me to write down that I had three children, and um, I have a son and two daughters. And of course, I've raised my two daughters. Um, so I wrote that down. She just kind of matter-of-factly asked me about my children, and I just, it just all came up. So we went into the technique, and I realized, um, well, part of the technique is to discover what your limiting beliefs are. And um, the biggest one for me, of course, is shame, because that's, you know, I was very young, I felt I disappointed my family. Um, we never talked about it um, after that, so, for me, that meant it wasn't okay. And that I was a bad girl. So that's what came up. That's what I had to release is the shame. And as it was explained to me, shame is the lowest form, the lowest feeling that you can have because it doesn't allow you to communicate with God because it's such a low energy. I look terrible when I cry, so I'm sorry, y'all have to see this. Um, so I, I um, confronted that shame and the, and the guilt and, um, and all of those repressed memories. And um, Sandra, I forget what you call it, but we, we reenacted with a reframe. We reframed, and I was able to go back and and talk to that. Um, well, my inner child, and um, and also to my baby, and um, kind of had a do over. So it was really a an an awesome experience, but. I still had some issues because I hadn't talked to my daughters. They didn't know. My husband knows um, that my daughters, I just never knew how to tell them or if I should tell them. 
because of course there's the guilt and the shame and how do you tell them not to do something or to be careful or all those things as a mother that you want to protect your children you know from those kinds of experiences before they're ready which is what happened to me so um, I just never talked to him about it so Sandra um, let me know that that was some work I needed to do and um, that I needed to be able to tell them and I went home and I thought um, I don't know how I can tell them or when or you know just how this is going to come about but I thought God will figure out a way for me he'll he'll let me know when how he'll figure it out and I'll know so I went on a little vacation in December which is kind of odd because Christmas is like my biggest holiday and I, I'm just all about Christmas and and um, so it was an odd timing I came back and my mother had left a message on the phone and um, said call me as soon as you get in well it was late so I didn't call that evening and got up the next morning and she called like first thing and I'm thinking geez that's kind of odd you know so she um, she it was kind of an odd story of how she explained it to me but she had been in contact with my son he found me through my mother um, because he had her name from the records um, and the story is is that he um, found me because his son started to have some medical issues and the only way to get the records unsealed in adoption closed adoptions is to have a court order um, a judge has to release records which is not um, an easy thing to do difficult thing to do and it was here in the state of Utah so it was very well protected information and um, so he had this had got, got the records unsealed to find out information this was after many months of um, you know kind of legal issues and whatnot and found me so the call that morning was to tell me that your son has he's here he's come into your back to your life and so we had a reunion it was um, after Christmas so we spent we we brought in the, the this year 2013 together and our story is continuing at this point we're newly reconciled with each other and it's a complete miracle and um, complete blessing in my life and um, Sandra's therapy was a big factor in that, of course. So that's my story. Yeah.